Om Shanti, welcome. We are here with 25th of September's Godly Blessing. God wants us to be into zeal and into enthusiasm so that we can finish all the obstacles. Remember yesterday's Vardhan or Blessing where we were trying to understand that by remembrance of God we can overcome obstacles. By being soul conscious we can come overcome obstacles. So here God says that may you finish all obstacles with your zeal and enthusiasm and thereby become a jewel who is close and equal to the Father. So the zeal and enthusiasm that you children have in your hearts to being close and equal to the Father are to given and to given the proof of being a worthy child is the basis of the flying stage. So am I equal to the Father? Do I get angry? Do I get jealous? Do I get greedy? If I am getting all those thoughts and feelings then I am not at all equal to the Father. I am way far away. That means I have to work very hard on myself. This enthusiasm finishes all the many types of obstacles that are to come and helps you to become complete and perfect. Zeal and enthusiasm of this pure determination becomes an especially powerful weapon to make you victorious. Therefore, constantly keep this zeal and enthusiasm the means for the flying stage with you. So if it is there in the heart that I want to become close and I want to become equal to my father, my creator, I want to have qualities like him, I want to be like him, I want to have thoughts like him, I want to do things like him, because he's a world benefactor, so I'm a master world benefactor. Obviously, I can only be benefiting others if I'm not having greed, if I'm not having jealousy, if I'm not having lustful thoughts, if I'm not having ego within me, only then can I be of any benefit to others. Otherwise, these things, these vices, will come in between me and helping somebody out. Don't we always face that? So, when we cleanse ourselves completely, the soul, the mind, the intellect, and the sanskars, only then are we capable of becoming equal to the Father. That means becoming world benefactors, becoming a jewel as close to Him. How do we do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumari. Is what are the different, deeper aspects of greed, ego, jealousy within us is what we learn in Brahma Kumari. Is through reflection and meditation. And that's what you can learn too. I'm with this.